friend Llewellyn here and today I'm having a look at how the Welsh language is quite similar to the Irish language. And just 10 words that are quite similar to each other and a bonus at the end for you. So stick around for that. If you're new here or if you've been around and haven't yet, hey, hit that subscribe button and smash the like if you're having a good time. The Celtic languages are a series of languages that involve Irish and Welsh, but they're in two different branches of this Celtic languages, the Gaelic and the Brythonic branch. And Celtic languages do share similarities in grammar and syntax and Like any language group, all the Germanic languages do share traits with each other, and so do all the Celtic languages. But how similar are they? Well, it's quite easy for a Welsh speaker to pick up Irish and Irish and Welsh speaker vice versa, even though Irish has the K system, like German does and Latin, and Welsh does not. So let's have a look at these languages and see how they're different. The, the Irish branch of the Celtic languages, or the Gaelic branch, includes Irish, Scottish Gaelic, which is quite close to Irish, and Manx. And these have a similar orthography and extensive vocabulary, which is very, very close to each other. Likewise, the Brythonic branch involves Welsh and Cornish, and on the continent, Breton. And these are very, very similar and share overwhelmingly uh, a lot of vocabulary and syntax with one another. And these are a bit different compared to the Gaelic or Irish branch, or the Irish branch to the Brythonic branch, but these are the same language family, and there's going to be a lot similar to each other. So let's look at the first word here. The word for house. And in Welsh, it's T, and in Irish, tick. The next one, bad, in Welsh is the word for a small boat, a specific, more specific kind of boat. But in Irish, it's generally the word for boat, which is bad. And you do get this a lot. You get a word which is really similar in Irish or Welsh, but it has a slightly different meaning, or it has a related meaning a vocabulary that obviously came from the same thing originally, which has diverged over time. And if you speak one or the other, you're going to see lots of these words that are similar, which have a slightly different meaning. And I just wanted to include that in there so you get that idea. And the next one, the word for rock or a big boulder thing. You know, it's craig in Welsh and in Irish, craig. So really similar. The next one, the word for book. Now this comes from Latin originally, and I wanted to put this in here to show you how early on these two languages took words from Latin and made them Celtic in a way that was obviously very similar. So in Welsh, llyfr, and in Irish, Laera. I hope I get that pronunciation in Irish right. Now the word for heavy in Welsh, is trum and in Irish trom and you'll notice in Welsh here trom as well that's because in Welsh we can uh, there's a, there's adjectives which can be masculine or feminine and we do that quite markedly quite often and the, I just wanted to introduce that because the spelling for the feminine version for heavy is the exact same for the Irish word for heavy and there's been a lot of changes between the two languages which are based around these gender identities in terms of words which went one way or the other in the different languages. The word for wax, which may have come from Latin, in Welsh is queer, and in Irish, care. Here's a word. Oh, that's not, that's not, that's not the same. And I wanted to show you that because Verbs 
words for doing things. These are the words which are most often different between Celtic languages because the words change according to who's doing it and they have mutations at the beginning in a lot of cases. The word for throw in Welsh is tabli and the word for throw in Irish is So these are different and a lot of verbs are going to be much more different than words for things. Okay? So, so moving on to the words that are actually similar. Maur is the word for big and maur is the word for big in Irish. Very similar. And what about going to the beach? These are very island-based countries. The word for beach in Welsh is traith and the word for beach in Irish is trai. So quite similar. The word for sword in Welsh is cleddyf and the word for sword in Irish is cleddyf. So again, that's really similar. So you can see how similar these languages are in terms of vocabulary quite often, even though the way of spelling things, the orthography is markedly different. And it's gonna be quite easy if you want to learn Welsh and learn Irish, it really does help learning one or the other in terms of not being a fluent speaker of one or the other to begin with because it'll give you an insight into how words form, how things form, how things relate to each other because different kinds of words have effects on other kinds of words in all Celtic languages. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of things that are quite similar and there's going to be a lot of things which are quite different and I hope you enjoy learning either one of the other, Welsh or Irish. They're both very very rich and beautiful ancient languages. So that bonus that I mentioned at the beginning is how does they thank you in these two languages? Now this isn't really related to the other, either one to the other at all. And it shows that these languages can be quite different at times. So let's look at how to say thank you. In Welsh, you can say Diolch or Diolch and Bawr. Thank you very much. And in Irish, Gorev Matagut. Gorev Matagut. So there you go. Hey, Diolch and Bawr for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Diolch and Bawr, Gorev Matagut.